In 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis was heating up, and the threat of nuclear war drove the Weber family underground. How long will we have to stay down here? 35 years. 35 years. For three decades, they lived a fairly normal life. But their son has become a man. What did you wish for, son? Now the time has come. I wish that I could meet a girl. For Adam to step out and discover the world. What is it? The sky. I have never in my life seen anything like it before. Oh, my lucky stars. The Negro. Say what? Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelter. Did you know that only two miles off the Las Vegas Strip is the real blast from the past bunker built by one of the principal owners of Avon Cosmetics in the early 70s? Well, guys, I'm going to give you a detailed tour of this bunker. It is freaking unreal. And guess what? Maybe one day it's going to be a nightclub in Las Vegas because the owner's trying to sell it for that. So sit back and enjoy this video. It's totally worth watching. So who would ever guess that that house right there has one of the largest private bunkers in the United States underneath it. So I am right off Flamingo Boulevard here in Las Vegas at a non-conspicuous, regular Mediterranean style house. And here's the owner of the bunker. How right. you doing? So tell us about this bunker. When was it built? Did, who built it? it? It was built in the mid seventies. It was completed in 1978 by a couple Mary, Mary and Jerry Henderson who were principals in the Avon Cosmetics Company. So he was really, really very well off. He owned his own 707 Jetliner. He had a pilot's license. He flew the plane all over the world. He decided to build his whole house underground, and he did so. This place uh, is part of that development, and he and his wife moved in here in 78 when it was completed and lived here this was their primary residence yeah. so the obvious things i see that air vent right there right how many of these air vents are there's one more in the backyard okay so there's what is this the air in or the air out no, vent it's just a ventilation vent uh the air in and out is over here so the bunker itself there it was built as a fallout shelter so there's three or three to five feet of dirt Okay, so over, it's just a fallout shelter. It's a fallout shelter. It's not a bomb shelter. In other words, if you put a big bomb right here, it would yeah. cave in. Yeah. Out. Is that a fake tree? You're right. It is a fake tree. Check the, that out. The fake tree is actually the chimney for the fireplace. So right beneath <coughs> here is the living room for the underground house. Oh, really? Yeah. How cool is that? And yeah. that's been here since he was here? Yeah, I mean, this is original. That's original. This is original. Yeah. That is cool as can be. As are the fake rocks. See all these fake rocks? All these are fake rocks? Yeah. So is this air conditioning for the bunker? Yes, it is. There are eight air conditioners that cool the underground space. Does it actually need it? It does in the summer. Really? If, if you were here in the summer and you turned off the AC, it might get up to be 85 degrees really? Fahrenheit in the underground space without AC. Way oh, I see there. a little tunnel over there. It looks like a bear cave. That is the other emergency exit. Okay. Caddy corner from the one behind you. So that's how big the underground space is. It goes all the way from that pine tree over there to that that little yeah. looking like a building there. Go see the bunker now. All right, come on in. This is cool. So it's like walking into an everyday house. Except when you go through the uh, go through the front door, there's not a living room. There's this hallway here, and what you're standing in right now is actually part of the original construction of the underground house. When it was built in 1978, there was no above ground building. Okay, so the elevator. Oh, okay, you could have a little party in here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and back in the day, the original owner and builder, he would have parties down here that had up to 150 people. Look at that. There's a little moving thing on the wall. That's We're going down, and that mural is painted on the wall behind the elevator. That is cool. Yeah. I like that. And, of course, you'll see what, what they're implying when you get to the bottom as to where we're going. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Texas Hideaway. Texas, <laughs> Texas, one of their owners in the in the uh, 
We're entering the danger zone now. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Almost there. So we're about, realistically, we're about, what, 15, 16 feet underground? Well, your, your feet are 26 feet below the surface. Oh, wow. Plus or minus a few feet. Or here's the bottom. So you see okay. what they're doing 200 feet down. What are they digging? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right, we're here. And we're here. Come on in. Cool. Wow, this is really a blast from the past. I mean, just the house and the architecture reminds me of the 1970s. Well, this is a time capsule of the 1970s. I know the 1970s because I was in high school in the 1970s. So this is all eerily familiar to me. Crazy cool. Wow. Yeah. So show us around. All right. So you come into the elevator. Or the stairs. So you do or have a the staircase. There are stairs. If you don't okay. want to, if you get tired of watching that mural, you just come down the stairs. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Okay. So you're walking into the front door of a ranch style home. That's what this is. This is crazy. Wow. So you even got front doors. That's right. Wow. So, hey, you know what? I know yeah. these door handles. <laughs> They're still okay. around. <laughs> yeah. So what the builders did is they took a 5,100 square foot ranch style home, plus a little guest house, plus the stuff in the yard around it, and they put it in a box and sunk that into the ground. And that's what this place is. So it's not your standard bunker type thing where you see concrete walls everywhere. I'll like say they so. covered that all up. So, so, so how, how many square feet is the bunker? The bunker itself, the entire underground space is 15,000 square feet. And the house and is? And of that, the house is 5,100. Wow, this is crazy. I mean, it feels just like a house. It is just a house, <laughs> It's crazy. Hey, you even got a casino down here. Yeah, well, this is Vegas. Come on, you guys. Yeah. It's gambling at some point. So now you were mentioning that y'all actually have this on the market. Right for sale, right. and this could technically end up being a private club in Las Vegas. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you might even open it to just being tours. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but um, a private bottle club at night for wild people, you said, or maybe? People that have parties. Or <laughs> parties, parties, yeah, parties wild that. parties is yeah. what you were telling me. Yeah. So you got a pool room. Right. Wow, this is just unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, it already feels like we're in a club that's just nobody's in it right that's now. That's right, yeah. It's after hours. You got a bartender, so you got your bartender right your here. Bar here, yeah, right. You could that's technically right. get a gambling license, I guess. That's right, you could, yeah. And we wow. Could, we could put a couple slot machines down here. Uh, you could put a craps table or roulette wheel down here. Wow. You, you got the right Got size. plenty of places for people to sit around and mingle. So the fireplace is actually a real working fireplace. Is it? You could have... Uh, you could have a wood fire in there, or you could we, you could bring gas in and have you know ceramic logs if you don't want to deal with wood and ash. And, and you showed me the fireplace is up through the tree. Yeah, the chimney goes up through the. So tree. is that where the tree's right there? Yeah, it's right above the fireplace. Wow, that's where that tree is. And you have a full kitchen in here. Yeah. <laughs> pink and white. Well, the original owner. She she loved pink. That was and who was the pink. owner? You told um, so Mary and Jerry Henderson, Mary and Jerry Henderson, and the town of Henderson. That's a different Henderson. Yeah, that town named after, but they are the ones that built this place. And they own what cosmetic company? Avon. Avon. Well, we all know Avon. They didn't own the whole thing. It was it was owned by many shareholders, but they were principal shareholders. Wow. Well, that explains all the money they spent That's in right. here. This yeah. place, is, and this is the original is. colors, the it, original, everything is such mint condition it, too. It, it's original. That's right. It is just, it's just ready to go on the commercial market, become some kind of destination. Like, you know, like going to Pawn Stars. That's right. Come to Vegas and see the blast from the past, yes. bomb shelter, nightclub, right. right. bottle club. You got some more room back here? Something. Well, we're working on the ceiling up there. Okay. So, so it's actually bigger than what we're saying. That's going to be worked on actually on Monday. Yeah, we actually have a stage which normally sits there. It's it's stored away right now. Wow. And what and the beautiful murals. What are these murals of? So the original owners were of course very very wealthy and he owned his own 707 jetliner, you know, just like Hugh Hefner owned yeah. the 707. 
But Mr. Henderson also had a pilot's license. So he would fly his jetliner all around the world. And one of the places they went was New Zealand because he owned a 10,000 acre ranch on the South Island of New Zealand. And that is a mural depicting the coastline of the South Island of New Zealand. I tell you, I tell you what, these 11 foot ceilings in here, 11 they're and a half, 11 yeah. and a half foot. Yeah. Boy, it is not claustrophobic no, at it's all. Not at all. That's wow. Right. Yeah. I mean, you can, I, it really feels like there's a house and we're outside right now, outside yeah. the house. Right. The, you got trees yeah. and this carpet. Tell me about the carpet. So back in the day, they did have AstroTurf. AstroTurf was just developed a few years before, but it wasn't a very good and convincing artificial grass. So I think that when they built this place, they decided they'd just put this lime green carpet down instead of AstroTurf. And you can still buy this today? Well, you probably can. Is that the original? It's the original. You gotta be so kidding it's over me. It's 40 years old. It looks new still. That, well, you know, it's it's not, there's no sunlight down here to degrade it, UV. Well, that's true, that's true. When you're yeah. underground in a bunker, this is why your food will last so long in a bunker right. because it stays so cool down here. Now you mentioned that this bunker actually has air conditioning. It does, it, and ventilation. Those are two separate systems. I want to show you one thing as we walk past. Okay, I like look the little the, bar. Look on the tree there. Mary and Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mary and Jerry. Yeah. Is that their name? That's their names. Yeah. Wow. Mary and Jerry. So did they stay here when they came to Vegas? This was their primary residence. This this bunker was their primary. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what's this room here? This is the formal dining room. Formal dining room in the bunker. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't everyone and look at this. You know what this reminds me of? I was just at Elvis Presley's house in I'm Graceland. Sure. Yeah. And he had rooms with this fabric like that so, in there. Yeah, you can see here, see this? It's not wallpaper. Yeah, you can push it pushes in. Yeah. That was the big thing back back then for high end rooms. They had this tuck and roll uh wall covering. <laughs> amazing, amazing. The history of this house. I mean I, in the last month, I've been to Jerusalem. I've seen where Jesus was born and crucified. I've been to Elvis Presley's house. Now I've been to the, bas the blast from the past yes. bunker. <laughs> so I describe this house as the late 20th century equivalent of a European castle. Now, why do Amazing. I say that? Because the European castles were built as a response to the military threats of the time. You know, a castle in Europe was built to to protect and house the lord of the manor with, and all of his retinue, right? Mm -hmm. Against the military threats of that time. Well, this was built to uh, protect the lord of the manor of Avon Corporation. <laughs> against the, the beauty military, cosmetic king. Yeah, against the military <laughs> threats of the late 20th century. Makes sense. Wow, you really can get a lot of people in here. Yeah. So you've rented this out we for parties before. And what yeah. were what was the maximum amount of people that were here for that party? Uh, about 150 people. Was it overly crowded or? It wasn't overly crowded, but that's probably close about, to max. That's about what you'd want to have done. So here. you'd have to find out what your maximum capacity is on right. a club this size. But it'd probably be three or four hundred technically. It could be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if somebody's looking to invest in this to make this a nightclub or right. this is just cool. I would come to the Vegas for this. Oh, I mean, there's so it many places cool. yeah. to sit down, right. to talk to your friends. There's right. chairs everywhere, chairs, couches. You can play uh, blackjack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what do you got back here? There's the front doors. So this is the residential and the bedroom end of the house. We have a guest bathroom here. Okay. Okay. What's in, in that door? Well, okay, I'll show you. It's just... Just the a hallway that goes oh. back, and there's storage back oh, okay. there. That's all that is. All right. Yeah. So I never thought about somebody buying this for a natural doomsday bunker, but yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So this is on the market for... Six million. Six million dollars, and you can own this, including the house and the land. And how much land is involved? A little over an acre. An acre it's of land. A little over an acre, yeah. And what's this room? This is the media room. This has so many similarities with Elvis Presley's house, Graceland. Okay. I mean, he had this kind of stuff. Right. And it has the same type of decor. You know, he died in 77. Right. So, I mean, I feel like I'm back in Elvis Presley's house. Nice. It's got the studio, got a little alien in there. <laughs> Was this a, got a screening room in here? Yeah. So yeah. people could come in here and watch their movies, whatever kind of movie they want. You could have a little lecture here where someone was given a talk. Oh, yeah. You could sit in here. And here you've got yeah. some uh, souvenirs or 
some, yeah, the, some time capsule. We have we have devoted to both the house and to life extension and cryonics. Cryonics. Yeah. And cryonics is where you freeze people, right? That's correct, yeah. They, so that's what that thing is right there. That's what that is, yeah. Oh, wow. So that's a cryonics chamber. Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. I've never seen one. I've seen one like on TV or on YouTube. Right. So that's where the people that go in, they freeze themselves so they can right. be revived later. It's essentially a giant thermos bottle filled with liquid nitrogen. Wow. And who, who, did Mr. Avon want one of those? He didn't. He was a little bit early for it. Really? He was a little bit after his Wow. Time. Yeah. That's amazing how many people are probably in there, like, going to be in those Bill Gates and those types, probably, well, huh? If, if they're smart, uh, you know, they'll, they'll take advantage of it. Yeah. This now this is interesting. This is a depiction, a mural of the second underground house that the Hendersons built. So they had more than one. This is the third one. You're in the third and last one. Wow. There. That's the second one. That's located on what used to be their ranch. So they had a house and a bunker underneath it. They it's actually if you look at this hill, yeah. See this square thing here? Yeah. That's the chimney. No kidding. So, so there's a bunker under there. Underneath this hill, there's a bunker. Amazing. Yeah. I love these people. They're my new heroes. I've Henderson's. Never, I've never been in that one. I've heard it's owned by an ashram as a re religious retreat, and that it's three times the size of this one underground. Are you serious? Well, I'm going to have to get a new bunker, and I'm going to call it the Henderson Bunker. Okay. You um, know what? And, yeah. and uh, the guy never thought, hey, they're going to start naming bomb shelters after me. So is that a pool? That is a swimming pool. With a grotto or whatever. 12,000 12, gallon swimming pool. Like the, yeah. so it's and got that, that thing like uh, Hugh Hefner had at the Playboy Mansion. I call that the Playboy Grotto up there. Grotto. Yeah. Wow. The hot tub up there. Yeah. This really could be a club. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you got the pool, you got people running around. Yeah. Probably naked because it's Vegas. And it's private. And it's big enough that you could lose people in here. I mean, this place is gigantic. Yeah. Wow. This goes on and on. Wow. So what's back over here? This is the little guest. Oh, there is a strip pole. Oh, there are two of them. There's one right there. Oh, there and is two one... strip poles in yeah, here. Right. Oh. Oh my god, they do spin. They're the real ones. Look at know? that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, how cool is that? Yeah. So I guess you can so people actually I, that looks like one of those things that people get married under over there. I think we could have a wedding down here and or and or a reception. God, is that another bedroom? Oh, it's Mrs. Henderson's bedroom. Oh, we got to see that. Well, all right. Let me turn on the Holy uh, cow. Chandelier. I hope everybody's enjoying this video. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe because I bring these videos out about once a week now where I visit these old bunkers like this. But I've never seen nothing like this. Not an old bunker like this. No. <laughs> this is like, this is nicer than my house. Holy cow. So Amazing. What's, so what's original in this room? None of the furniture is original. What's original is the carpet, the, uh -huh. the cut carpet, the wall covering, which, which is, is a fabric not paper. It's not. It's oh, that's nice. silk. It's silk. It's woven. Wow. It's, it's jacquard silk. Amazing. And then the curtains are original. And what's back here? So here we have her dressing room. Well, you got to have a personal dressing room when you're in your doomsday bunker, that's don't right. you? That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, she's got plenty of clothes for the end of the world. And you can tell when your time is up. Look at this. Oh, wow. Okay. That's amazing. I mean, I do bunkers smaller than that. <laughs> in her dressing okay. room. <laughs> uh, this friend of mine has said when she saw this, well, this is bigger than my New York apartment. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. That's amazing. So, oh my God, look at that bathroom. And here's Mrs. Henderson's bathroom. Wow. Sunken bathtub. Uh, yeah. Chandeliers again. And you've got to have the lit bathtub there. So. Pink toilet. Right. Now, is that toilet from then? It looks kind of new. That's, no, that's the original toilet. Are you serious? Yeah. That looks like one of the new modern ones. No, that's the original toilet. Wow. Wow. This is, this is unreal. Unreal. Look at me. Hey, there I am in the mirror. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe, okay? And I'll bring you more of these crazy videos. Walk-in shower. Well, let's go. We can see the uh, guest house. Okay. Amazing. I love this. 
Well, guys, I hope you're enjoying this because this is just freaking amazing. This is almost better than Elvis's. Now, Graceland was pretty impressive because it was Elvis, you know? Yeah. But this is equally awesome, you know? So this here is a barbecue. Yeah. Electric barbecue. Yeah. So this is Gen Air. So when you turn it on and turn on the fan, yeah. all the barbecue smoke and fumes get sucked down and they go out through. Oh, uh, so you got another vent right there. Is it, well, actually it, it combines, it runs over to where the uh, tree is. Huh. So trees are a secret sign for vents around here. Right, yeah. And it's yeah, been yeah. used. Yeah, oh, it works. Yeah, it works. Absolutely. Amazing. Amazing. And then come in here. Hold on a second. Okay. I got to do this. So you can walk on this? Absolutely. So you got a little hot tub over here? Yeah. You've got two hot tubs. Well, that's not really a hot tub. That's the same temperature as the pool. Okay, and then you got this here. It really does. Yeah. That's what it should be. It should be a Vegas Swingers nightclub. Absolutely. Oh, I guess so if anybody's watching this video and you want to own a swingers nightclub in Las Vegas, and finally we go get the, the bat blast from the past bomb shelter and turn it into it. Okay. So this is a complete. Uh, got a kitchenette. Well, I can tell that's from the seventies. Yeah, it is totally from the seventies. I like that print. It may be from the seventies, but it was modern for the time because a lot of it's still in. It was totally avant-garde for the yeah, 70s. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the decorations in here are really nice. And wow. This is very 70s here. If you look at this. What do y'all call this little house? Look at, they got the swag lamps here. Remember swag lamps? Yeah. In the 70s? Amazing. And then here we have, let me check this out. You were referencing. So you got what, four, to four toilets down so there? So there are four toilets. That's four right. Four toilets. Yeah. yeah. So I guess the girls would be hogging the bathrooms. That's right. <laughs> and what do you call this is the casita or what do you call, call it the casita yeah do you wow you got a little side door over here and you got more room and another fountain and another mural that's right so this mural is and the light i didn't turn the light on yet but this mural is upstate new york where mr henderson grew up i like mr henderson yeah he was a pretty cool guy he is when did he pass away 1983 wow too bad Wow. Here we have the fountain. Fountain blue. Yeah. There it is. And this is Mr. Henderson's bedroom right here. Another little back hallway. Yeah. You really could get lost down here. You could well, look for once some. You, once you're familiar with the layout, it's not that. I big. know, but it's kind of cool that it's yeah. big enough that you could lose somebody yeah, yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah. yeah. This is Mr. Henderson's bedroom. And, nice uh, bedroom. Yeah. Nice bedroom even today. That's right. Bed still in style, nightstand, pictures. I'll show you the Very only nice. piece of original art okay. in the house, if you follow me. Okay, so my understanding, all the furniture was put in after he... That's right. Okay, so who decorated all this? Uh, my ex-girlfriend. Are you serious? I'm serious. Yeah. Well, your ex-girlfriend has good taste. She absolutely does. There are three... There are three Bedrooms and four toilets. Yeah. To commercialize this, someone would probably have to come in here and put in like four toilets right here. Or, you know? we, yeah, or you could do something on the surface. Now, here is the last piece of art that remains. That's true. They could go up the stairs to go sure. to the bathroom. So, this, if you look at the artist, Leo Jansen, uh -huh. he was one of the artists in residence at the Playboy Mansion. He painted all the beautiful women of Playboy, and that's one of the women. Uh, I think it is uh, Dorothy Stratton. Wow. I'll have to look it up. And th those were the people they had when the Hendersons owned the place. They had Playboy Playmates and stuff down here. Wow. We're coming back out into the hallway here. And then off to your left is the uh, big living room. Okay. And we're back where we started. Media room. Yeah. This place is big. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I hope this does become a club because it would be a members only. You can tell right. it would be exclusive right. and the quality of the decor right. and the ambiance would lend right. itself to very high end clientele. They have a little freaky side to them probably, you know, yeah. but uh, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the decor, I mean, you couldn't do it any better for, for some kind of entertainment. Right. It's just yeah. amazing. Wow. What did this cost to have it built back in the day? 
I think back in the day it was $10 million. $10 million in back in. And when was this started and completed? Started, Piano think, works. It probably took, yeah, sure. I think it, it probably took four or five years to build from and, the first permits to when they took up residence. So I would guess probably started construction in 73 and it was completed in 1978. And then so, it moved right in. Too bad, Elvis died. Too bad right before, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Elvis died in 77. Yeah. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So let's go back out uh, through the staircase. Right. I want to see what it's like. To, can, do you have lights in there? I do. Uh, let me go upstairs and turn it on. Okay. Because the switch is upstairs. Well, goodbye, blast from the past bunker. You are amazing. I would love to come to a party down here. Seriously, I would. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I'll put you on the list. <laughs> I have to let me in. Yeah. <laughs> so you got one, two, three flights of stairs and you're at the top. So it's not too hard to get down. It's just a left and a left. And then you got the door that says fallout shelter. Which is what it is. Yeah. So, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Elevator in the stairs. Right. Awesome. Thank you very much for letting us see your blast from the past bunker. Well, I'm a great fan of what you do and, and the bunkers that you show people. And I really am happy to meet you. So. All right. So, guys, if any of you want to reach out and reach, get a hold of Mark, I will put his link in the description. And thanks, Mark, for letting us see your bunker. All right.